What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Jafan, and today we're gonna watch some more Doctor Who. This is uh, episode seven, I believe, in series four called The Unicorn and the Wasp. The Unicorn and the Wasp. This is the third installment, I should say, actually, I forgot. We're continuing the MCU <coughs> timeline. This is a Marvel movie, and this is the third installment in the Ant Man trilogy. <laughs> The Unicorn and the Wasp. That's lovely. Anyways, before we jump into this episode, though, if you want to see the full length reaction to this, and also if you want to see these videos earlier, you can. As they go first on Patreon, link in the description to my Patreon. Thank you so much, Olia, for supporting me all this time. Now let's jump into the video without any further. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. For once, I'm actually glad my headphone was off before starting this, because I hate that BBC logo. So loud. It is just by smelling. Oh, yeah. Or maybe that big vintage car coming up the drive gave it away. Maybe. It's a massive house. Reverend Golightly. <laughs> Reverend Golightly. I say, what are you doing with that lead piping? What do you think? Oh, it's making... It oh, that's a wasp. Okay, then. What do you think he's doing? He's doing this. Or they or it or whatever wasp is. <laughs> He's gonna hit you in your head. Your bald head. That's what. Now, I wish he hadn't gone to the library alone. Like, oh, that's what they did in the 20s, huh? In their alone time, go to the library. What do you think? Flapper or slapper? <laughs> Flapper, you look lovely. Oh, so slapper was uh, the bad one? Different times, I suppose. Now when you say something slaps, good it's good. Sir. Good afternoon, my lady. Topping day, what? Spiffing. Top hell. No, 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 no don't do that. We were thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm the doctor. How do you do? Very well. Your usual. Service. How do you do what? <laughs> That's how I like it. Miss Redmond. Spiffing to meet you at last, my lady. Reverend my Arnold Golightly. Ah, oh, Reverend. <laughs> Arnold Golightly. If Arnold had gone lightly, he wouldn't have become <laughs> Mr. Olympian. No introduction. <laughs> Lady Edison, there's no need. Agatha Christie. What about her? That's me. No. Agatha Christie, I was just talking about you the other day. I said, I bet she's brilliant. I'm the doctor, this is Donna. Oh, I love Wait, wait, that was in Doctor Who? Because I feel like I know that name. Well, once or twice. Well, once. <laughs> <laughs> I've read all six of your books. Uh, is uh... she's an author? Okay, they do like authors in this world, the Hoover world. Why a Belgian detective? Belgians make such lovely buns. <laughs> <laughs> See, where on earth, Professor Peach? He loved. This is the day she dies, or something. It's the day Agatha Christie disappeared. Wait. Professor Peach! As in, d dead? I don't know Agatha Christie, so I'm not sure what happened. Her husband was having an affair. Never think to look at her. Smiling away. Well, she's British. Oh, the comment about. Okay. Hey, carry on. So for this one time. No one knows exactly what happened. She just vanished. Don't have my water. My water vanished, just like Agatha. Ten days later, Agatha Christie turns up at a hotel in Harrogate. She lost her memory. You never spoke about the disappearance till the day she died. Oh. It's about to happen. Wait, what? The library! Murder! Murder! The ad's real? I mean, it has to be. They, they did real stuff with other authors and other, like, real events, too, so. I mean, they had their own twist on it, but, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Especially now I found this. It's honey. Morphic. 
Oh. Because, you know, the bees and the... What? Well, anyways. It's been one of that lot as an alien in human form. Yeah, but think about it. It's a bug. It's not a bug. It's a feature. It's time to stop. Agatha Christie didn't walk around surrounded by murders. Not really. I mean, that's like meeting Charles Dickens and he's surrounded by ghosts at Christmas. <laughs> well. Oh, come on. Well. <laughs> Tell me there's no noddy. There's no noddy. <laughs> Did what you asked. <laughs> I've heard of her name as well. Edith. Don't look for clues. Any more residue? You'll need this. Is that for real? Go on. You'd have us a plucky. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I'll work with you, gladly. But for the sake of justice, not your own amusement. <laughs> Left him speechless. I was unpacking in my room. You were alone. With the Lord, one is never truly alone. Hmm, of course. And where were you? Let me think. I was, um... Oh, yes, I was... Uh, that's all. Alone? Oh, yes, all alone. Totally alone. Absolutely alone. Hmm. <laughs> well, I went to the toilet. Oh, yes, I remember. I was preparing myself. Positively buzzing with excitement about the party and... You know what idea I just got? It would be kind of cool if they do that, though. I was like, is this like a story from one of our books or something? It would be kind of cool if they'd actually do that, you know what I mean? Took me back to my days in the army. <laughs> Started reminiscing. Nope. Mafficking, you know, terrible. Colonel, snap out of it. I was in Miss Tully. Yep. Alone. Some people go to the library alone, somewhere in the study. Alone. It's a ritual of mine. I needed to gather strength for the duty of hostess. I then <laughs> proceeded to the law. <laughs> Ooh, lovely tea. Was there tea? Were you drinking sparkling tea? I remember. I was deep in the <laughs> den, trying to find Charlemagne. <laughs> Doctor! Don't, don't. Sorry. Charlemagne lived centuries ago. I've got a very good memory. <laughs> Such an experienced detective, you missed a big clue. What, that bit of paper you nicked out of the fire? You were looking the other way. Yeah, but well, I saw you reflected in the glass of the bookcase. You crafty man. Not a man. No, M. It's an M. The word is maiden. Maiden! Mm -hmm. What does that mean? You won't find anything in... I was going to say he likes using arrows. I was like, no, it's back in the day. But then I remembered, back in the future... <laughs> He also used arrows in that one episode in Blink, I believe. Yeah, when he's looking for the lizard. Liz lizard. I don't know why I want to say a dinosaur. There's nothing in here. 40 years. Why would she steal it off? 1926, they've still got bees. Bees? Is that massive bee? Yes, it is. Yeah, good thinking. Ooh, okay then. It's a giant wasp. What do you mean a giant wasp? I mean a wasp. That's giant. It's only a silly little lens flipping enormous. Look at its sting. Let me see. Doesn't it leave its sting? Don't they die after they leave their sting? Enough to know that you're completely potty. Besides, got to be able to grow a new one. Uh, uh, can we return to sanity? Wait, I thought they die. This giant horse. Exactly. So, the question is, what's it doing here? <laughs> There's no such thing as a giant wasp here. A dead man's folly, nothing more. But perhaps if he asked about, I must go and see my. I was gonna say, look into it. Could be. He did want to be in the library alone. Karita. Bo. Whoa. Oh, yeah, no, definitely stand right under it and put your hands on your ears and scream. Don't, like, take a step to the side or anything. Can't be a monster. It's a trick. They do it. Grew another one. Up 
See, that's what I'm saying. They're able to get out of the way of a actual bee. A giant one. But she wasn't able to get out of the way of a rock. That's just cheating. <laughs> You've written simply the best detective stories. Oh, she used to write detective stories. Okay. I'm sorry, all of you. I'm truly sorry, but I failed. If anyone can help us, then it's the doctor, not me. Hmm. I'd say you. One day they could turn them into films. They could be talking pictures. Pictures that talk? What do you mean? Oh, blimey, I've done it again. Hmm. These murders are like my own creations. It's as though someone's mocking me. There were murderers before you wrote, you know? I think that's where you got the idea from. I found my husband with another woman. Mine was with a giant spider, but... <laughs> <laughs> you and the doctor talk such wonderful nonsense. Yeah. Agatha, people books, they really do. They're going to be reading them for years to come. My books will be forgotten. Hello, what's that? Hello. Those Reminds me of that uh, one episode in QI. Hello. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. Who'd ever know she's that? You're brilliant. Oh. Oh. How about the science? It's him. It's him. Why? Why that close-up and that music change? Something's inhibiting my enzymes. I've been poisoned. What do we do? I was gonna say, is it poison? Sparkling cyanide. I need ginger beer! Protein! I need protein! Mm. I can't understand you! How so many words? Stuff a chicken in his mouth. Shake, Come on. Milk. Shake! Milk! Milk! No, not milk! J jerk him off. <laughs> oh, shake! What do you want? A Harvey Wallbanger? Harvey Wallbanger? Well, I don't know! How is Harvey Wallbanger? What? Look, right there. Get one of those ducks or something. It's too salty. What about this? Mm. What is it? What else? Oh, it's a song. <laughs> um, I don't know. Right then, big shock. Coming off. Whoa. Okay, that was shocking. Lovely. Uh, detox. Oh, my! I must do that more often. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> You are impossible. Who are you? The doctor. Walnuts, anchovies. Only taken from us. And, and a kiss. That's how you deal with it, eh? What else must we do? I must try it next time. Any one of you had the chance to put cyanide in my drink. But it rather gave me an idea. Drink up. <laughs> <laughs> Demon. They're trying to kill the bee with it. Like they sting them. I mean, the bee sting them and then dies or whatever. I don't know. Man. <laughs> Faster. Roger. They killed Roger. <laughs> My job. You bastard. With a knife? I thought it was the wasp doing the killings. <laughs> Every murder is essentially the same. They are committed because somebody wants something. What does a Vespa form want to die? Vespa form. You know about people, their passions, their hope and despair and anger. Tiny huge things that can turn the most ordinary person into a killer. If anyone can solve this, it's you. It was Agatha all along. It is the MCU. Because we have a murderer in our midst. They're gonna blame someone? See how people react? Miss Redmond. She did have a gun. The tools of your trade, Miss Redmond. Or should I say, the unicorn. <sighs> you came to this house with one sole intention. Arrest me. Sling me in jail. I might be a thief, but why well, ain't no killer? Quite. <laughs> there are darker motives at work. Me. <laughs> you can walk. Yep, he can walk. Wow. Sooner or later, some chap will turn your head. I couldn't bear that. 
Staying in the chair was the only way I could be certain of keeping you. <laughs> Confounded, Mrs. Christie. How did you discover the truth? Um, actually, I had no idea. Yeah. I was just going to say you're completely... Imagine the scandal. The family name. I'm British. I carry on. <laughs> and it was no ordinary pregnancy. I'm British. It was 40 years ago, in the heat of Delhi, late one night. Delhi. It's Delhi. He'd made himself human to learn about us. This was his true... He's a bee. Whoa, so this is Ant-Man. I kept it close. Always. Just like a man flashes his family jewels and you end up with a bun in the eye. <laughs> I just... That took me a second. Okay. <laughs> Who did I kill? No, but you said it all along. The vital clue. This whole thing. It was Agatha all along. It was you. It was Agatha all along. No, but she wrote. She wrote those brilliant, clever books. And who's her greatest admirer? The moving finger points at you, Lady Edison. Don't leave me alone. <laughs> so she did kill them? No. But just think. Last Thursday night, what were you doing? <laughs> I was... Uh... This is silly. I was reading my favorite Agatha Christie, thinking about her plots. Murder of Roger. Wow. Roger was the dude that died, didn't he? Last Thursday night, those boys broke into your church. That's correct. <laughs> Thieves in the night. I was most perturbed. This is not night. It's very much day. A proper deep anger for the first time in your life, and it broke the genetic lock. You've changed. Things <laughs> back where you found them. It's or do you lie about the Thursday night thing? It's very much daytime. Get out that sun. The mechanics of those novels formed a template in your brain. You killed in this pattern because that's what you think the world is. Turns out we are in the middle of a murder mystery. One of yours, Dame Agatha. Lady Edith, this is, this is a little bit of buzzing there, Vicar. Don't <laughs> be angry. Why? What happens then? Oh, he's like Hulk. So the Wasp Man is actually like, uh, okay, you make him angry. All right. They turn green, well, yellow. Agatha Christie with your railway station bookstore romances. What's to stop me? <laughs> Very slowly, doesn't really look like it wants to catch you. You said this is the night I get the Christy loose her memory. <gasps> Silent pool. It's not listening. It changed back. Gonna drown. Drown it. Just like his father. Donna, that thing couldn't help itself. Neither could I. Death comes as the end, and justice is served. <laughs> Murder at the Vicar's Rage. Need a bit of work. <laughs> Who exactly are you? Oh, it's the Firestone! It's part of the best performance by. Oh, she's having a baby now. A wasp baby. She's dead? Oh. They let her go. No, oh, she isn't. Yeah, the Vespa does. And us. She'll forget about us. Yeah, but we've solved another riddle. The mystery of Agatha Christie. <laughs> and tomorrow morning, her car gets found by the side of a lake. A few days later, she turns up in a hotel in Harrogate. So that's what happened, huh? Okay, that makes sense. Like I said, they gave it their own twist, but you know. <laughs> Lady Edison, the Colonel and all the staff, what about them? Shameful story, I'd never talk of it. Lady Edison. <laughs> I'm British. <laughs> oh, lovely. Wrote, wrote, wrote. She never thought her books were any good, though. She mm -hmm. must have spent all those years wondering. That is Steve Cyberman. Steve Carrionites. 
<laughs> Agatha! Look at that. She did remember. Somewhere in the back of her mind, it all lingered. Death in the clouds. Five billion. People never stop reading them. She is the best-selling novelist of all time. Wow. Uh, but she never knew. Well, mm -mm. no, it's not like going to be remembered. All we can do is hope for the best. That is true with writing, though. Most of them weren't. Onwards. Very well recognized until after. All right, onwards. As a pretty fun little episode. All right. Pretty interesting episode. A uh, decent episode. I liked it. It was kind of fun and silly-ish at times. I like the old Doctor Who. This Doctor Who got the series for in particular, and some in the last uh, series as well. Uh, it got a bit serious, which was great. I actually kind of like that changed. But uh, anyways, before I talk more about it, if you want to see the full length reaction, that's available on Patreon. Also, these videos go up first on my Patreon, so... Very good to see it before everybody else. So check it out. Link in the description. Thank you so much, every single one of you, for supporting me all this time. Now, then, like I said, it was um, it was a pretty decent episode. Very fun. Uh, that's for sure. They did have a sort of moments, like serious moments, but the overall episode was kind of like on the light side. You know, like kind of like the kind of like the Doctor Who that you guys kept telling me that this is what Doctor Who is in the beginning, like. When I first started, you guys were like, it's camp, whatever that means. <laughs> you know, like I said, recently, you know, past few episodes, that has changed quite a bit, but it's all right. Uh, this, is, um, this is a pleasant change. I did not dislike it. You know what I mean? It's just different from what we've been getting, which is fine, which is perfectly fine. We did get another author, though, which is very interesting. Unfortunately, I don't really know anything about her. Never read any of her books either. But they've got to do one on Tolkien. Come on, fan. Go to Middle Earth. Imagine that. In one episode, they visit Middle Earth and meet Gandalf. No. Um, that's like what I was saying. Like, it would be kind of interesting if they do an episode with one of those authors and it's one of their stories. Do you know what I mean? I thought this might be, or it actually might be, because I don't know any of her work, so I don't know. It might actually be, I don't know. Let me know if it is or if it is not. Yeah, that would be kind of interesting. Anyways, yeah, fun episode. The Doctor and Donna's um, chemistry is great. I like their little back and forths that they have. And I like, even though I did not I know this author, I like the fact that they had another author here. I did know the previous ones. So, you know, I'm going to know some, I'm not going to know some. It's all good, isn't it? And I like how I made a joke about it being the trilogy, final one, the Ant-Man trilogy, because, you know, the second Ant-Man movie is called Ant-Man and the Wasp, Unicorn and the Wasp, you know. And then Wasp Man appears, or men, because there were two of them. Yeah. That was kind of uh, weird as well, but again, it's like doc this is how Doctor Who is. Uh, pretty much everything's weird, you know. I I have to say I do prefer when things are more simple. Like I like the silly and fun and all of that. Like that that's great. That's not what I'm uh, saying here. I actually do enjoy that quite a bit. I'm talking about the villains being like these weird creatures. Like that's fine too. But it needs to be done well, and I feel like, I don't know, it doesn't look like a high-budget show, so it just ends up, you're supposed to take it seriously, and because it looks so bad, you're like, well, I can't take it seriously. Or maybe I'm not supposed to take it seriously, who knows? You guys have been telling me that Doctor Who's not supposed to be a serious show. No, no. It's like one of those things I mentioned before as well in Titanic uh, episode, is when it's a real event, when it's a real person, and you're dealing with real people, then I try... You know, you, you got to be a bit careful with that because it is a real person you're dealing with. And they were in this case. But yeah, it's a pretty decent episode. Again, I must say, though, this is now actually the third uh, straight story that I'm saying this. <laughs> but this, I think, so far for me in this series is the worst one. But just as I said in the previous couple of videos as well, if this is the worst one, and that shows how great the other episodes were, right? So, so far, a brilliant series for which you guys did tell me it would be. And it has been, genuinely, this has been a really, really good uh, series so far. I'm really enjoying this. I'm looking forward 
seeing more of it. Oh, finally, a companion. By the way, so another companion that kissed the doctor. So that's done as well now. So all the previous ones did as well. Now, of course, this was different. The circumstances were different. The reasons behind it were different. But yeah, so a kiss. Interspecies mingling. That's another thing that we have heard before. Um, you know, humans do go around mingling with other species. You know, around the universe, if I remember correctly, Cassandra, I think her name was, she said she's the only real human level, or pure human, something along those lines, do you know what I mean? Which suggests that all the other humans have been mingling with uh, something that is not human. We saw that here, obviously, with the Wasp Man. Ant-Man. Scotty! <laughs> yeah, this was a fun little episode. A change from some of the previous ones. The previous ones had more serious themes, serious messages, uh, serious topics that they were discussing. This was a bit more lighthearted, although, like I said, it is a real person. So, you know, it might be a bit out there for some. But yeah, I didn't dislike this episode at all. I just didn't like it as much as the other episode. So let me know what your thoughts are on this episode and the season so far, or series, and uh Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do drop a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm doing movies and other shows as well. And like I said, these videos do go up early on my Patreon. Link in the description to my Patreon. And also full-length reactions are available on my Patreon. As well to this show and other shows and movies and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...